Good morning, everyone. So today we're gonna go ahead and do a quick oil painting study. As you can see, I've been trying to figure out how to get good clean skin tone mixes, as well as, you know, just making sure that I'm getting vibrant colors. That little guy will be our painting subject for today. For this painting, I'll be using um, canvas paper. I found this in my stash. Very cheap acrylic pad. I'm using a bunch of different um, oil paint brands, but primarily I want to use up the Holbein water soluble oil paint. I want to use two yellows, so either cadmium yellow light, I'm going to avoid black, but yeah, I think this is cerulean blue, and then I'll use a cobalt blue, and then burnt sienna. Now, instead of black, I, this is really good to use in substitute of black or you can also darken it with, like you can darken your paints with burnt umber. I'm also gonna add this one, Caribbean Turquoise, just to see what it looks like. We're going to start by creating a quick sketch using markers. You don't really have to be exact. You just, well, at least I don't like being exact. Um, I just like getting all the placement I want the subject to be. So I want it there. I'm going to draw him a little bit bigger. I know it doesn't look like the reference photo right now, but I don't like being exact when I'm just drawing or you know, doing the initial sketch. I usually like to flesh it out a bit more once I get on with the paints. So I'm looking at my reference and the, the biggest amount of color I'm gonna use rather is I'm going to use a lot of turquoise, turquoise green kind of shade. So we're gonna start with that. I'm curious to try out this Caribbean turquoise. Just a tad bit. Let's see what kind of green we get. Not that it's vibrant. There's actually one thing that I forgot to do before we start, and that's to paint the background because just to knock back the white. So we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna use acrylic so it dries faster. I'm not really concerned about getting this right. I just wanna knock back a lot of the whiteness of the paper. The paper is a bit warped, but you know, this is very thin 200 GSM acrylic paper. So that's fine. It's taking so long to dry, so I'm going to try and help it out. I'm using a very big brush just so I won't get caught up in the details so early. Right now it's looking a little questionable. I still have to darken or like emphasize the values for this one so that way it'll stand out a bit more. I 
Okay, so we're gonna start coloring or painting in the red. I've chosen a lot of pinkish um, reds here. in here this for a study I guess this is fine and for practice I admit I got really annoyed with this uh, in the end towards the end but I knew I needed to finish it I think the colors are still a little too muddy I still need to learn how to keep my colors clean and I also believe that I didn't use enough I think I maybe thinned it down a little too much or maybe even because the paper isn't as thick as I wanted it to be like it's very flimsy and so and there's no grip so the oil paints just kind of slid off the surface I tried.